Hello everyone, this is Trax Photo Day and Stage Makeup Tutorial. So you want to start with a clean and dry base and you can use some moisturizer or some primer to prep the face. We're going to go in with step one which is brows. So using a little angled brush like I have here, you want to start going in in linear strokes to simulate the hair. This will ensure that you're creating the most natural look possible. So here I'm starting by creating a little bit of a line underneath the brow and starting each stroke from that line. You want to use the least amount of product on the head of the brow and then gradually add more product as you get into the tail. This is going to create the shading that you see in the diagram here um, and it's going to help you create a natural shape and of course one that is ideal for the brow that you are working with. Everyone's will be different. Step two is going to be foundation. So pump a little bit of your product onto the back of your hand. You can always add more as you go. And just start dabbing your applicator into that little dollop of product. You can use a beauty blender or a brush or a reusable sponge like I have here. And just start working that into the skin. Here's some foundation options popping up. There's a clean option as well if that is of interest. In terms of choosing a foundation, um, choosing a more matte or shiny finish is just based on your skin type. So if you have oily skin, then using a matte um, would be more ideal and so on and so forth. A bit of product goes a long way. So really make sure you blend everything out just keep on blending. Less product would be more ideal for photo day and more for stage. Ideally you can apply concealer as well into certain areas to brighten the face. This diagram shows you some suggested areas. Usually areas in the front of the face, that's where the light is going to hit you and catch that brightness. And here are some concealer ideas as well. So just keep blending that out and this is just going to give you a nice even skin tone as your base. So step three, we're going in with eyeshadow. So you want to tap the brush or just brush it lightly on the back of your hand before you apply it to the eyelid. This is just going to ensure that you don't add too much product. It's obviously easier to add more than it is to remove. And so here's a little guide to help you. You're going to want to shade the eye by adding a medium shade of brown just to the entire eyelid, then going in with a shimmer on the center of the lid. Again, that is similar to our concealer. The light is going to catch that shimmer. In the corner of the eye, we want to be using lighter colors to brighten up the inner corners. And then on the outer corner, you want to go in with your darkest brown or a smoky black. And that's going to tie in really nicely once we add our eyeliner. And this is going to create a really beautiful ombre on the eyelid like you see in these photos here. Just like your foundation, you want to just blend, blend, blend. Make sure there's no harsh lines with your colors. And then like I'm doing here, if any excess eyeshadow falls underneath the eye, that's no problem. Just grab it with your foundation applicator. And then this is just a reminder to check for symmetry. So just continuously check if the eyes are looking similar, and if not, go in and make the adjustments. Step four is eyeliner. So you can use a pencil or a liquid eyeliner, whatever um, you are most confident using. And so ideally you want to apply the eyeliner in one even stroke. And like I'm doing here, you can pull the eyelid towards the hairline just so that you can smooth out that canvas and really stretch out the eyelid so that you have a flat surface to draw your eyeliner. Now eyeliner is really hard, so don't be afraid to do your best with that initial line and then go in and fill in the blanks, any spots that you left a little less product. And just go in and strengthen that line. And there you go, we have some beautiful eyes here that are not quite exactly the same, but similar enough. That's what we're looking for. Then you can go in with some makeup remover or even some more foundation and just sharpen out that line. The eyeliner is going to guide you, so you want to brush 
your Q-tip or your foundation right along that eyeliner line just to sharpen the shape of the eyelid. You might not need to do this, but if you had a bit of overlay with your product, that's totally fine. You can go in and fix it up. Then again, just touching up if you took off any foundation with that makeup remover. And we're on to step five, which is blush. So here we are making a fish face or a kiss face or even just smiling is a great way for you to see the cheekbones more defined and this will just help you guide the placement of the blush. You want to apply the blush higher than you might think. The goal of adding blush or bronzer is to lift the face so you really want to make sure you're applying these products on the high points of the cheekbone, brushing it all the way into the hairline. leveled with the eyelid and this is just going to really again lift the face and here you can apply a generous amount of blush just not too much that it's too pigmented and then don't be afraid to bring your blush into the rest of the face so something that's trending now is bringing it into the nose so that's what I'm doing here on Olivia this just gives you that rosy look and then some people even bring it into the forehead a little bit. You're just warming up the face here. And step six is going to be lip liner. So again, just like your eyeliner, you can use a lip liner pencil or a liquid lip liner. Again, whatever you're most confident using. And just like we did with the eyelids, we want to stretch out the lip so that we have a nice smooth canvas to apply. Don't be afraid if you smudge. It's very easy to make adjustments and to just go in and clean it up. And don't be afraid, like I just did there, if the eyeliner comes into the lip, bringing it into the lip here just to make sure that we get a nice even color. Step seven, our lipstick. Then same thing, you're going to stretch the lips again and go in with your lipstick. I like to move in small sections just to make sure the entire lip is covered and it's just easier for me so that I don't smudge. I believe that this lipstick we're using here is a matte lipstick so that's also a nice tip especially for stage. Matte is a way better choice um, than anything that's more glossy just because you're making a lot of facial expressions and you're sweating on stage so something that's more matte is going to stay for way longer and you're going to avoid that smudging that might happen on stage. It's classic to have a nice big red stain on your costumes so the matte lipstick as well is going to prevent any transferring of the products to your costumes. Don't forget to finish with some setting spray or even just some loose setting powder if you prefer that or both if you really want to be heavy with your setting products. Give your model a good fan and that's it. Thanks for watching.